Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about three features that, according to Apple, won't be available with iOS 17 once the software officially launches later this year. Now, Apple has mentioned that these three features will be coming in the future throughout the year when iOS 17 continues to develop, maybe with 17.1, 17.2. But initially at launch, there's three features that Apple mentions on their website that won't be available at launch. Now, with that being said, I also want to talk about the expected release date for iOS 17. You guys always ask and when can we expect this next major update so I wanted to clarify based on previous history of major releases like iOS 16 last year I want to share with you guys when we can expect the official release of iOS 17 the official final version so let's go ahead and dive right into this video now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates of course and don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode so the first feature is a new journal application coming to the iPhone. Now, Apple did view this application at WWDC. Apple shared with us what the UI may look like. And using artificial intelligence, your iPhone could recommend entries for your journal. So if you go on a vacation, you go on a trip, your journal application can log everything for you. You can also, of course, do everything else you do with a journal, right? Just write things that you're feeling, your memories, your, your thoughts, and things like that directly within this application. You can go back always and just remember this stuff and kind of relive your memories using artificial intelligence according to Apple and machine learning on device machine learning the application will be able to suggest entries so again if you go on vacation and things like that it may suggest some pictures or where you went and who you were with in order for you to log these in to the journal application on your iPhone now this application won't be available at launch but Apple mentions that the new journal app will be coming later this year now with iOS 17 airdrop got one of its biggest updates in years you now have the ability to share a files differently right so now you can actually bring an iPhone close to another iPhone and share things like files videos your contact poster you can name swap as well so a name drop is one of the bigger features coming this year to the iPhone which will be available at launch and also initiating shared experiences will also be a thing this year with airdrop where you can share music and videos and things like that however one of the biggest features is the ability to send large files using airdrop and then you can walk away from that person and continue sharing those files using the internet connection on your iPhone securely through the internet your iPhone will still be capable to airdropping larger files to someone even if you step away from airdrop range which is a super cool feature so if you're sharing large files maybe videos you don't have to stand next to that person with an airdrop range in order to send those files again you can actually just step away and over the internet on your iPhone you can continue sharing those files using the new airdrop feature however this feature that allows you to share these files over the internet won't be available at launch is only one feature from airdrop which is the one that i'm looking forward to the most won't be available with the initial release of ios 17 everything else in regards to airdrop will be available at launch and by the way i do have an entire video showing off all the new features in airdrop links will be in the description down below for that now the third and final feature that won't be available within ios 17 after the official launch is with an apple music collaborative playlist so basically this this allows you to share the same playlist with people around you so if you have game night karaoke night over you don't have to pass your iPhone around so that everyone can add a song to the queue but rather everyone using the share play experiences on iPhone can actually add music to that queue to that playlist so collaborative playlist a feature coming later this year according to Apple Apple music also added a ton of improvements and a new features including karaoke nights where you can use your iPhone's camera as the camera for your TV and actually show the lyrics on the TV and show yourself as you sing along with the lyrics on your favorite song. So yeah, this is one of those features that won't be coming until later this year, according to Apple Collaborative Playlist. But again, a lot of great features are coming to Apple Music later this year with the official release of iOS 17. If you want to watch my entire coverage, I'll link an entire playlist in the description down below for my entire iOS 17 coverage so far. So with that being said, when can we expect iOS 17 official final release? Well, based on previous history right no one really knows exactly the day only apple knows when they will be releasing ios 17 but if we go by previous history mid-september is when we can expect 
iOS 17 the official final release out to the general public so that's about two and a half months as of the filming of this video my money is on the week of the 11th of September the second full week of September so this week right here is when I expect iOS 17 to officially release to everyone worldwide and again these are three features that won't be available with the initial launch of iOS 17 the expected release date is most likely mid-September as per usual alongside the next generation of iPhones as per usual but let me know your thoughts in those comments down below I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace